new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you hey instagram those of you that knows keandria and that knows taviana aka faith and kimberly i am their mother now i didn't gave them plenty of chances to A, correct their language, B, present themselves like young women, and C, when I'm gone to take care of my five and six year old. So, I leave yesterday to celebrate Father's Day with my husband, and something say, you know, I'm gonna leave them the phone, give them a little lead way, let them keep my cell phone, you know, just, if they do right, I let them off for punishment because the hoes been fucking up for one. They don't do shit. They don't clean up. They can barely clean their ass, let alone keeping my house clean. They like to chase these little good for nothing ass niggas that ain't worth shit for one. They don't take, they don't carry themselves properly. Those of y'all that really know them. Now I done gave them a chance. There's no more chances. So now it's time to air their asses out. They like to sit up here and twerk, disrespectful to my five and six year olds while they going live and they supposed to be babysitting. They supposed to be babysitting. But they shaking they good for nothing nasty fucking asses. Okay. The language. They know I don't condone that shit, but they wait until I leave because neither one of them hoes is stiff enough to use that language in my face. Because they know I knock their fucking teeth out their goddamn mouth. So, that's two. Three, the sticking the tongue out, the sticking the fingers, the all that shit changing. While you going live, you're standing in front of a window wide open, changing your clothes. And going to say, oh, yeah, I'm changing in front of the window and bitch, you trifling. You're trifling as fuck. You have little sisters who looks up to you and your trifling ass is changing in front of a mirror. Those that just joined, I'm Faith and Kimberly's mom. That's not even their real name, so I suggest that shit fly out the window. Their real names is Keandrea Tanay Washington, Taviana Unique Washington. It ain't no fucking Faith and a damn show ain't no fuck Kimberly. It ain't none of that. These hoes, yes, they're my daughters. I didn't gave them chances, but now I'm finna treat them like hoes. These hoes are trifling. Trifling as fuck. So I'm fist to walk up the stairs so y'all can see how they trifling asses really live since they like to twerk, since they like to cuss, since they like to stick the finger out and do all this extracurricular shit, don't run in the bathroom. Let's go. Bring your ass on out. Yes. Don't run in the bathroom. You wasn't doing all this yesterday. You wasn't doing none of this yesterday. Stick the tongue out and do all this extra shit like you was doing yesterday, you and your sister. Come on, you live on your Instagram now. Come on, show them what y'all really about. Show them what y'all do on my face. The cussing, the sticking the tongue out, the all this. Look how look at they sink. Look how nasty they sink is. Nasty than the motherfucker. Look at they dirty ass tub. See they dirty ass tub. This is how they live. They trifling ass fuck. So for anybody that fuck with them, if I was you, I wouldn't. These hoes are trifling. They didn't have boo cool chances. They know I don't condone this bullshit. They know they don't cuss. They know they don't change in front of fucking windows. They know I don't get down like this. So when Miss Taviana, good dumbass, get home from summer school because of dumbass flunked, while she's worrying about these fuck niggas, 
Her stupid ass needs to be worried about getting a dumb ass out of junior high school. Where she's soon to be 16 in the 8th grade again. Because a dumb ass don't know how to listen and fucking follow directions. So those of y'all that know so-called Faith and fake ass Kimberly, this is their room. This is how nasty they live. This is their trifling asses. I done gave these hoes chances. Ain't no more chances. This they dirty ass closet. Trifling as fuck. This is how these hoes live. So since they want to be all trying to be grown, trying to be fast, bullshit. I'm not the mother that tolerate no bullshit like that. And they know I don't get down like that. They didn't have buku chances to get their mind right. They wanted to do this dumb shit yesterday, and I told them, next time I go on y'all live and I catch y'all hoes doing some disrespectful shit, I'm going to air y'all asses out live on your Instagram. So, for those of y'all that's at summer school right now with Faith, I'm pretty sure she looking real good and weak right now, because when she get home, I'm going to bust that bitch in her motherfucking mouth for the way that she fucking talked to my five and six year old. So yeah, she going to get the fucking business. Little Miss, I mean, Little Miss Faith, while she in the bathroom, trying to run and trying to hide, so y'all wouldn't see her, she finna get beat the fuck up too. Cause they know I don't play the motherfucking games. At all. I don't know what the fuck y'all mamas let y'all do, when y'all little hot trashy asses is on here with them come get me shorts. Them little beady ass shirts that y'all be wearing, y'all need to get y'all fucking minds right. Because I'm not the parent that will allow mine to do no fuck shit like that. Period. So Miss Faith like to say, period. Yeah, period. She know I'm about to beat a bitch ass. Her and her whole ass sister. That's how I get down. Tolerated the disrespect for these hoes for too long. It's going to be a stop to it. So when y'all see little Miss Faith or Kimberly tomorrow, which, well, Taviana. Tomorrow at summer school, you can cool best believe the bitch gonna have a busted lip cause I'm a busted. She like to cuss. Yeah, little trashy ass can barely read, write, or spell. But the bitch can use cuss words. She can barely wipe her ass and got the audacity to try to shake something in a mirror. Yeah, she finna get beat the fuck up when she get home. Her and her dumb ass sister. Oh, now she wants to hide her face. She wasn't hiding her face when she was sticking her tongue out and all that shit yesterday. Dancing and doing all of this and doing all of that. Yeah, she can barely read, write, and spell too with her good dumb ass. When I'm done. Yeah, don't like it now, right? Gay y'all hoes too many motherfucking chances. But like always, y'all like to do extra. So you can stand there and look good and petty. Because this new school year, y'all ass is going to look fucking weak because I hope all your friends is on here watching it. I'm waiting on Tyron, little needle dick ass, to get on here too. Why he thinking somebody like him? I don't give a fuck. He needs to get his little miserable looking ass on here too. Because while a 16 year old is dating a 7th grader, you look dumb. You're supposed to be in high school and you're worried about a little beady boy. Who just freshly got out of elementary school a year ago. Get your life. You're dumb. And yeah, I'm talking about Taviana. She's dumb. She's running behind Tyron. Little broke, can't get a job. The nigga can't even get an ID. But you're worrying about a sixth grader. Come the fuck on. You look stupid. And I hope all of your friends see this. You look stupid. As fuck. Chasing a little sixth grader. And that goes for you too. Oh, that's my best friend. That's my best friend. We have the same birthday. Focus on keeping your ass clean before you can claim somebody as a best friend. Get your mind right. Because y'all sound desperate. Y'all sound dumb. Y'all sound real good and fucking trashy. And you know that shit. Y'all look real good and fucking weak yesterday. That dumbass girl didn't change clothes over six times for what? She still gonna look the same. She ain't cute. 
Why y'all walking around here thinking y'all son that y'all not? Y'all hair not even fully done. You don't even got all the tracks in your hair. All your damn tracks is showing. Then on top of that, it's nappy as fuck. So let's keep going. Y'all want to be live? Now I'm live. So let's let's go. Y'all want to dance and twerk and do all this shit now? Let's do it now. Tell them who you really are. I wasn't twerking yesterday. Tell them who you really are. You can still tell them who you really are. Because you're not who they thinking you are. You and your sister is nasty as fuck. I have to get on y'all about bathing. You want to talk about that? Y'all had y'all chance. Now let's air it out. Have to force y'all to bathe. Y'all walk around here musty, smelling like niggas. Y'all wear jackets in the summertime. Little Miss Tatiana barely brush her funky ass teeth. Let's keep going. But she wanted to get on here and play like she wear deodorant at a day to day basis. Bitch, get your life. You only did that for the for the time being on being on Instagram. You don't put on deodorant like that. Man, who you talking All of my hygiene equipment, I gave it to y'all. Because when y'all go to work, when y'all babysit, y'all don't even buy hygiene equipment. So let's keep going. Y'all want to be live? Let's air out your dirty laundry. You and your nasty ass sister. I put on deodorant. Barely. Okay. No, it's not there. Barely. I put it on every day. Barely. Barely. And I took a shower. Barely. I just took one too. Barely. Mm -hmm. I have to show you how to bathe because y'all don't even bathe properly. Don't do it. Don't get on here in front and lie. Because mm -hmm. you will be laying in that tub with your face bleeding. I'm not even Nigga, y'all a trifling Benny motherfucker. Got a washer and dry. I ain't seen now pair of panties and bras that's been washed. So that tells me that your asses are wearing dirty drawers and dirty bras. I ain't seen none because I operate my own washer and dry. So where your clothes at? Y'all wear the same clothes. Come the fuck on. Let's keep going. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Y'all don't like that shit, don't you? Looking real good and weak. Real weak. I just woke up. It don't matter. You're not cute. I never said I was cute. That's the way you acting when you're sticking your tongue out and all on Instagram yesterday. I wasn't trying to act cute. Lies. So what was you trying to be? You're not yourself? You're still writing on yourself. That's something that little kids do. A boss bitch don't write on theyself. You don't see no real ass female sitting up there drawing on her damn self. Y'all move down to Colleen to act like these Colleen ass hoes. That's exactly what y'all acting like some hoes. You and your sister acting like some hoes. All the boys that you got written on my daughter's carpet right now, should I show them? All the names that you got written on the mattresses that I just bought y'all, should I show them? Okay. Okay, so you're still making excuses. Yeah, that's tough, right? Yeah, that's real tough. But these are y'all friends that knows that K hey Mama do not fucking play at all. At all. I'm not raising no hoes. I'm not raising no tramps. I'm not raising no thugs. I ain't raising no gang members. I'm not raising no drug dealers. I damn sure ain't raising no prostitutes. And as long as the Lord got me living on this earth, breathing day for day, I will beat they bitch ass before I allow them to fail. And that's some real shit. So all this little shit that these hoes is going around trying to copy behind, they need to get their mind right. Because I didn't gave them buku chances to get their fucking mind right. But apparently, they're so dumb and lost in their own sauce because they should already know my mom is linked to my Instagram and my Snapchat. She has it on her account. But y'all so stupid, y'all still do fuck shit not knowing that I'm going to check into it. How many of y'all mamas going to get on y'all Instagram and check and see what y'all do? How many of y'all mamas care? About what y'all doing on y'all Instagram. Because I didn't seen every last one of y'all's Instagram. Oh. Well, hey, that's something that you got to work on on your own, little mama. I ain't got nothing to do with that. 
Whoever little girl is that said that she's not y'all friend because y'all said she smell like fish. What she look like? Mm -hmm. She got braids in her hair. Probably the little girl that used to always come over here. So like I said, they need to get their motherfucking mind right. And if they knew better, they will gladly do better because I'm not raising them to be that way. So this will be the last, when I say the last, the last time y'all will see these hoes on Instagram and Snapchat. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> y'all won't be seeing. All right, so I wanted to uh, do two different things here. Uh, one, I had a live stream where, uh, you know, I had a few of uh, my moderators, awesome, awesome women, uh, come through and they gave their opinion on the story and, um, you know, what it is that they felt, the things that they were able to see, um, you know, and, and their specific take um on how they would have handled the situation and here is specifically for those who didn't catch the live stream where i would like to hear your opinions um specifically about the things that you were able to uh see and take in directly from uh the video because I know that I have a variety of parents that are directly on this platform and everybody, you know, teaches and goes um, at certain situations with their children or their child, um, you know, vastly differently from, you know, every other parent out here. So, you know, I would really love to, uh, you know, see what people really feel and think in the in the comment section, um, because as I stated before, even on live stream. I, you know, agree with the mother and in a sense how she went about things. And the reason why is because this is a whole different time and this is a whole different age. I grew up, as I've stated before, uh, you know, single parent household, you know, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And if at any point in time that my mom decided that she needed to cuss at me, it was because she was fed up with my behavior and me repeatedly doing you know the same uh dumbass things that i know that i shouldn't be doing but i still decided that i wanted to do it just because i wanted to do it knowing the fact that it was inevitably going to end up incurring her wrath which i ended up getting and you know i look at this as a mother who was pretty much fed up because from my experience right I know 100% a lot of the things that I did in order to make, um, you know, my mom pissed off or my mom angry, you know, in order to get her to cuss directly at me. So I can't sit up here and, and, and be, you know, uh, in front of this microphone to say that, oh, you know, it, you know, it should just be the, you know, the parents and, you know, different things like that. A lot of kids know what they're doing is wrong, but they still decide to sit up there and do it. Um, and for me, I'm the type of person where I'm going to take responsibility for the, the actions that I decided to commit to. And, you know, during those times, you know, that my mom, uh, you know, was yelling at me and whatnot. That was my fault. You know, maybe, you know, I, I should have been, you know, better in school. Uh, you know, I should have kept my grades up. I knew this report had to be done. I arrived late from school. Um I got there late or, or a variety of uh, other things, right? Because I understand that my mom has things to worry about. She has the house to worry about bills and, you know, and all other types of things, including her job and going, you know, to and from school. She has a multitude of things to worry about. So for me, the last thing in a sense as a teenager who is on the cusp of becoming a uh, an adult, my mom should not in a sense have to still worry about me because you know, she did a very great job at teaching me, at instilling um, a lot of things in me. And it's up to me as an individual, as a person, as her child, right, which she raised, to take everything that she told me, internalize that, and then go out into the world. So, you know, I, I, I get and I understand where, you know, some people might come from where they'll say like, oh, but, you know, the language that she used and she's the parent, you got to be different. And, you know, your kids are going to, I like I said, I'm not disagreeing with that.
but my thing is I'm going to sit up there and put um, blame and responsibility on the teenagers. These are not six and eight year olds. The, these are teenagers. The girls that she was talking about, they're 15 and 16. One is 16 in the eighth grade and the other one is in high school. Now, and, and I'll go to this extent. There's a lot of times that, I mean, yes, parents can do everything that they can to, you know, uh, make sure that their kids are going to get the best education possible. They can sit up there and stay on them and, and do a variety of things. Right. But and my mom, she was consistently on me about my work, my schoolwork, parent teacher conferences, all of those things, grades, all of that. But she was like, you know what? You're in high school now. Soon enough, you're going to be a grown man and I'm not going to be able to monitor you. So you're going to need to monitor and look after the things that you're supposed to be doing. It's not my job for you uh, to be in that seat to do uh, the studying that you need to be doing. I can't do that studying for you. I can't take those tests for you. I can't sit in that seat for you. I can't go into all of those classes for you. I can't go to tutoring for you. You have to do all of that stuff yourself, just as she listed vice versa. I can't go to her nursing jobs and, and do her job. I'm not going back and forth to, you know, her school. Like I can't I can't do her education for her and neither can she do that for me. So it comes to a port, uh, you know, a certain time where, you know, a, a lot of these teenagers, they need to start taking a responsibility because I was made to be um, responsible at a very young age because I had to understand how the world was and how specifically the world sees um, young black boys and young black men and black men in general. So I had to be responsible not to be in gangs. I had to be responsible in who that I decided to align myself with, hang out with, affiliate myself with. I had to be responsible with whose car I decided to get into and not get into. I had to be uh, responsible for what parties to go to or what not to go to. I had to be responsible to not drink at a young age, to not smoke weed at a young age, to not uh, do a lot of these um, activities right with other young women who were the same age i had to be responsible not to sit up there and be a statistic and be a part of the whole teen pregnancy thing i have a lot of responsibilities as a teenager a lot of which all teenagers know and it's not that hard to really manage those it only becomes hard when you have in a sense a lack of willpower and a lack of drive to do so because a lot of people out here just want to be a follower a lot of people don't want to be a leader because it takes too much uh time and effort and you got to really manage the way that you move so people are like you know what let me just wear what everybody else is wearing let me just do what everybody else is doing because it's easier less effort less time less energy and you still sort of kind of get something directly out of it and that's exactly what a lot of teenagers do and that's exactly what these young girls were doing. They were following behind other folks. They were emulating other folks. The mother stated that, you know, they don't even wash their clothes, even though they got a washer and a dryer. It's not the mom's responsibility to wash their clothes of uh, some almost grown individuals. They know how to walk around. If they want to go to the store, go to a party, hang out with their friends, they can clearly get up and walk over there and do it. The mom doesn't have to do it for them. Just like they should be able to keep up their room clean. They should be able to wash their clothes. They should be able to also wash themselves. The reason that you got a lot of kids like this is, you know, because they, they choose not to accept a lot of responsibility. And a lot of adults, in a sense, don't give them a lot of responsibility because they feel that they can't handle it just yet. And I feel like that's a poor play. You start giving these kids responsibilities at an early age is going to help them develop into a certain type of adult, a responsible adult. It's going to help them evolve into a certain type of teenager, a responsible teenager. Because the, the, the responsibilities that I had, I sat up there and took pride in those. I'm like, all right, this is what I got to do. If I got to cut the grass, I'm going to make sure I do the best job that I can. And I did that. And because of that, I was able to, you know, in a sense, have my little 
own little business while I went around the neighborhood to all of my neighbors because they saw the lawn in the front yard and it was like yo hey you know said you uh you know who who did your grass and I was like yeah you know I did that so oh you did that you know could you sit and come on? I'm like yeah I got you like I said responsibilities also breed opportunities which is another thing that a lot of these kids lack and they don't in a sense really understand that Lenny was like I said I would love to hear what you guys have to uh, say about this this whole video and your thoughts on it in the comment description below so as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video